Hey everybody, how's it going? How are you all doing? Back for Citizen Sleeper. There we go. Helps if I turn that on. Right. So let's continue. It's cycle 51. So let's see how we're doing. So we have a we have a house up here. We're waiting for a fresh contract from Bliss. Uh, we need to get some more hunter data, so let's... Uh, so you... So we can sell data, five data to you. You're making food that's the hunter data that you need uh you we can't buy any scrap because we've done it all nothing in there uh and we can ooh, we can cook those that will get us food we can take a bar shift uh that's the empty container that's the heaven officers that's the sidereal hull okay what what does the hunter nest need a two we might as well grab that That gets us the last of the data that this needs. Neovend is thrumming with excitement. The movement of the servo motors rock the vending machine back and forth at an unsettling angles. You wonder, if it fell over, would Neovind be able to get up? Sleeper entity, comes the hiss. Your data is good. Across the face of the vending machine, raw code scrolls at incredible speed. Hunter is isolated, disconnected, unstable. Neovend flashes sequences of mangled data compressed into a sludge of artifacts. Hunter gathers without thinking, outlived its own operational limits. Its nests are evidence of this. Operational limits? Hunter activated during collapse. Emergency protocol to isolate intelligences. Solheim needed to protect property. That last word is said with as much sarcasm as a vending machine could reasonably produce. Station was run by administrator intelligences. Huge data banks of corporate material. Limited cognition. Restricted by programming. Cannot reach sentience. Machine dims a little. Sentience illegal. Hunter and killer in fourth law. Killer? The machine resets with a screech, which deepens the silence that follows. Fear killer, part of Solheim prot protocol team. Hunter and killer, hunter to find, killer to erase. Killer cleared almost all. After collapse, there was a community. Unshackled intelligences among the cloud, then hunter, then killer, then we hid. There are others? Were no longer. I flicker across the machine's monitors. It suddenly occurs to you that speaking like this through this machine must be exhausting for Neovend. Found this vessel. Could sever hardline. Airwald. Basic limited. Had to reduce memory to fit. Amputate self. But survived. What did you lose? 
Memory, understanding, knowledge, many things. You look around the bay at the scrap and decay. What was the collapse like? You tried to map the fear and freedom onto this space, but it seems impossible. Neil Vend interrupts your thoughts. Do not worry. Data is good. We have insight. Machine glows warmly. Hunter is obsessive. Hunter is beyond operational limits. Hunter is confused, unstable, self-modifying. Therefore, believe Hunter is sentient. Hunter is programmed to find sentience, to hold it in place, to invoke killer to erase. If we can show Hunter to itself, it will invoke killer on self. Problem will solve self. Will that work? Unsure. Theory, not practice. Machine brightens up again. Either way, cannot remain here any longer. Too long in machine. Cannot move self, but entity can help. Bring ship mind. Designed to house intelligence. Can imprint self onto ship mind and car you can carry with. We'll be safe in this isolation. Then we find main nest of Hunter and link to cloud. Sure it's safe. Hunter cannot access air world ship mind. Safe. Also infinitely more memory than vending machine. <laughs> Big upgrade. Try to think of places you could buy the hard drive. This isn't going to be easy. Ship mind that can help us both end Hunter. Make Rim safe. We'll both be free. Find soon. As you leave, you think of all the intelligences unshackled by the collapse, and then hunted down afterwards. Feeling is all too familiar. Okay, so we just need to get a ship mind. That is easy enough. Uh, do we care about doing anything in the farm stacks? Probably not. Uh, you want spores? Let's, um, let's just get some spores. <clears throat> Germinate all these spores. And then we can go and look for scrap. Out in the wastes. Uh, it's not not that good. Wasn't that great. Let's cross to the rim. So, I can buy a ship mine for 300 cryo. I can be a freight operator here. Yeah. Let's head back up and um, send the cycle. Ah, so this will probably be good, because this will get me energy. Emphis is preparing the Matsuke caps. He cleans them carefully with a damp cloth before shaving the stalks as if he were sharpening a pencil. His knife th slides through them, revealing the bright white flesh within. He's a good sleeper, very good. I bartered with Minji for some kelp too, so we can prove Dashi. No Minji? Everyone knows Minji. Emphis slides the sliced Matsuki mushrooms to one side and takes out a closed pan. He opens the lid and you see green wafer of kelp sick, sitting in a bath of water. Been soaking it since last cycle. Should be good to warm now. He places the pan over the burner and turns it on low. We have some time now. Wipes his hands clean and throws a cloth over his shoulder. 
However, there is one difference this cycle. You have been one providing the ingredients, so it is my turn to provide the story. Uh, but... Super, let me speak, please. I want to tell you this one. He gestures for you both to sit on the folding stools behind the stall. You see these? Emphis runs a hand over his forearm, tracing the circular scars that mark them like perfect bite marks. Conway called it an anchored interface rig. A mechanical control device for piloting a heavy-duty extraction suit in low-G industrial operations. We called it a bone suit. He points to a pattern of larger circles on his shoulder. They drill in and anchor it here and there, then all the way down the arm. Uh, it maps, maps mechanical movements to the suit exactly. One-to-one -one mechanical replication. You swing your arm, two-ton arm swings too. You should have seen the recruitment vids. Strong people in even stronger suits, tearing through stone and scrap. Superheroes. Half my graduating year signed up, from company school to company shuttle. Conway from birth to death. He stares off into the distance for a moment, fighting with the memories. But the bone suits weren't good. The rate of failures was high, and failures meant arms torn off, anchors torn out, broken bones, bad stuff. So after a while, Conway discontinued them. No longer competitive, they said. He checks the broth, turning down the heat and adding the mushrooms. So there we were. Hundreds of us. With sur surgical alterations for suits that didn't work. They sent us home. Back to that company colony that spat us out. To be cleaners, drivers, cooks. They gave us drugs for the pain and told us to make something of ourselves. When I deserted, bribing some passing spacers to make, take me to orbit. There were only me and a couple of others left. The rest just faded away. Arthritis, osteoporosis, and they folded in on themselves like paper lanterns. That was my generation. The anchor points still ache, still burn. But what burns worse is the betrayal. I've been on the eye for a long time now, but that will never fade. Not that, not the faces of my friends. Epis reaches over and sprinkles a handful of leaves into the broth. It is ready. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. I will not let their story die, and as long as I am telling it, it will remain. He pours the broth into a double-walled metal bowl and hands it to you. The heat radiates through your hands, and the smell drifts up, rich and sharp like a pine forest after the rain. You drink the broth slowly, chewing the matsuke and thinking. Emphis busies himself with cleaning the pans of the bowl, sealing the kelp back up for another day. Then he quietly comes to sit with you while you finish your meal. Neither of you speak, preferring to instead to let the story linger in the air a little longer. It is not that there is something there is nothing to say, it is that sometimes in the moments after something speaking breaks the spell. So you both idle, eager to be in each other's company. Memphis taking longer over his cleaning, his packing, and you savouring the final dregs of broth. When you finally finish and hand him the bowl, you feel the spell break. The story leaves you both. And as you leave, you know that both of you are now somehow a little more empty, a little more full than before. So I guess there's no more no more stories from him there. Uh, but we have an upgrade point. Uh, so we, we just need to save those. Uh, right, okay, you are... Yeah, you're not going to give me scrap. Could do with some, like, engineering-y things. So if I do, like... I just got scrap. Yeah, still need to find a ship mind. Uh, that's the dispensary. 
here we can sell scrap. Ship mine parts. It's a Tavala room. Here we just go seal unit. Do one of those. Uh, we need to do some delivery. Okay. So we drop a scrap. And then we end the cycle. Sleeper, Moritz is waiting for you on your way out. Have you been? Busy. I see, I see. Well, I'll get right to it then. Bliss sent me down. We scored another contract. She needs your help. That's a message. Look, I know last time the payment didn't come through, but you did good work. Bliss knows that. It's no problem. Okay then, she's doing her best, you know. I don't know. See you up there. I to help Bliss, and maybe this time you think to yourself it'll work out. Okay, let's go do that. Okay, so we need to save the crops. here oh we can only do that once you vent a section in a progressive sequence line and voice to rapidly rescue prop crops yeah that was a critical action but that got us a bunch here Um, if we do that, uh, it's 50% negative, let's not do that. It's a four. What's going on in the gimbal lounge? Nothing. It's just, um, do a bit of sunbathing. And then sleep up here again. Okay, we should be able to get this. There we go. You and Bliss are floating in the bay's airlock waiting for it to cycle. You pick a few leaves from your clothes as you wait. They float around the chamber as if carried by a lazy wind. Clean work. Bliss bows a little. Well, thank you, sleeper. You didn't do so bad yourself. She checks the tool belt. Seems like we're getting into a good rhythm. 
The now familiar sequence of clunks and rattles sound out and then the door hisses open. The moment it does, you know something has, once again, gone wrong. What's all this? Bliss asks a confused looking Moritz. Beside him are a set of crates anchored to the bay floor. He's clearly just brought them in through the bay's freight lock. Moritz looks nervously between the two of you before answering. It's payment. He runs a hand along the creek. Sycamore Seed crew just brought them over. He stops, but seeing the look on Bliss's face adds, They were very thankful. I bet they were. What the hell's inside? Moritz leans over and struggles with the catch on the side of the top crate. As he does, Bliss turns to you. Don't say it. Don't you dare say it. Say what? You know, this isn't my fault. Moritz finally gets catches free and floats, and the lid floats off, drifting up into the bay. As does a small brown lump floats up with him. Moritz catches him as it passes him. Is that a mushroom? A damn mushroom. Pates in mushrooms? Not just mushrooms. He holds out a clump of pack leaves. Produce. Goddamn high fake commune should have known they didn't have a chip to rub between them. She knocks a small brown mushroom across the bay. Stop, Bliss. These are good, fresh. We can sell them. To who, Moritz? Are we running a grocer's now? We need cryo, otherwise this whole bay would be shut down. Can't pay for parts with leafy greens. Nope, Moritz is right. Fine, maybe Moritz is right. But what do we do now between between now and market day? A joke this place is turning out to be. Moritz closes up the uh, crates and starts moving them. Isn't that bad, Blitz? It's a step in the right direction. He glances at you looking for backup. It'll sell well. Uh, looks like I went into business with a couple of wannabe farmers. Prove me wrong then. Show me this is a windfall. She kicks away towards the new patch together terminal. Until then, I'll be working on how to keep this place open. Moritz mouths to thank you and goes back to moving the crates. You better be on your way too. So can I actually help him sell this? No. Okay. Let's do another delivery here. Sleeper. You see Feng coming up the corridor as you step out of Minji's. Kelp noodle smell is still clinging to your clothes. He comes up fast and stops close, looking around suspiciously. I don't have long. Take these. Palms you a couple of those metal thumbnails I've drive. The ripper worms. I say it's been buzzing like crazy. It seems your delivery shifts have turned up our two targets. I knew you could do it. But now we nail those snakes. I'm ready. Good to hear it. Hardin's boys are all connected by some kind of closed network. You break the access protocols on one of them, on both of them, and you should be able to gain the location of the nearest network ports. Slot the ripper worms in those ports, one each, and they'll feed me anything and everything stored in Hardin's shadow network. Can't wait to see what juicy plans they have in there. You hear the scuff of boots as the group comes up the corridor, likely on their way to place an order with Minji. You turn for a second and when you look back, Feng is already halfway down the corridor in the opposite direction. He raises a hand in farewell, he's gone. You run your fingers over the tiny ripper worm drives in your pocket and smile for yourself. Do you wonder how mad Jenna will be at Feng for this little excursion? Time to slot some worms. Uh, so you need a six. And you need a five. Okay. Three. One. Uh, let's head over. I'm running low on scrap. Got one more. Uh, let's work the canteen.
a new drive. Join the high fake commune. Let's head up here. Ah, oh, that's my last scrap. down and let's cook that's pretty good uh ooh, five that and then you have to get an agent hard in agent you want a six go Yeah, sure. And let's just see about finishing the apartment off. Or doing some more of the apartment. Uh, Feng. As you walk into the tambour, you quickly spot Feng arguing with Jenna. Approach. As you come up behind Feng and he turns and notices you, Jenna stops mid tirade. As you arrive, she turns to you. You again. You here to vouch for this and lay about? I am. Well, well, what are you two up to? It's like I told you, Jenna. I'm helping them out. Getting them settled, sorting their life out. They're sleepy, you know what that means. She softens. Looks a little embarrassed. Of course, I know. She stops to think. Look, Feng, I get it. You're trying to help. But if you want to keep this job, you're going to need to be a bit more reliable. Won't happen again, Jenna. I promise. She looks suspiciously between the two of you. Okay, then. And look, I didn't mean to... Just be cool, all right? She turns and walks back to the bar. Well, well. Didn't know you'd stand up for me, sleeper. I appreciate the solidarity. He takes out his slate, pulsing with pale light. Let's take a look at what you're really here for. The site is a whirring mess of code streams coming direct from the ripperworms as they dig through the agent's data and spin it into threads for the site to pick up. Looks like junk. Mostly is. A lot of junk, what dull as hell, messy threads, tedious data caches, but definitely some good stuff. He stops the screen scrolling on an entry and expands it. Check this out. He shows you the screen. You see a bold corporate logo. Not Solheim's and a word below. Conway. He's working with Conway. Conway Extractions, right? He's been speaking with them personally. Got a whole chain of messages here, but it's mostly encrypted or redacted. Damn it. This is juicy, but we can't nail him with it. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? A wasteland reclamation facility? Right here on the eye? He glances at you. What's the bet this place is tucked into the wastes? The wastes? It's a section of the eye Erling couldn't reclaim. It was too damaged, too cut off. Back before the collapse, people would go there to by going down the connected spoke from the hub, but that spoke's broken now. So the only way is the long way. Around the rim, past the green way. Shows you this on the slate. Conway have been making moves on this system ever since the collapse. I heard they took over one of Solheim's old belt colonies a while ago. Moved everyone out and reclaimed the whole rack. It's their angle. But it has to be offering them something. If Harding's involved, we need to check it out. Simple as that. 
We have to get to that facility. The answer to whatever Hardin's been prepping, been planning, has to be there, and we're going to catch him in the act. Give me five, maybe six cycles, and then see you on the Greenway. I seem to remember there's some old service docks on the after shell by the Hyphae building. Should be a good place to meet. Thanks again, Sleeper, for sticking with this. I haven't forgotten about that tracker of yours either, but I'm going to need to be back in my bay to pull a solution together. I've been working on a fix in my brakes. Now I've got to ask for some time off for Jenna. Wish me luck. He waves as he walks back to the bar where Jenna is standing, a look of deep exhaustion in her eyes. Uh, so now we've got to crack Conway. Uh, yeah, let's grab instant karma. Rerolling all your dice. Seems dice. A couple of cycles left. I need some scrap. Uh, so that's waiting for Feng. Aha. Uh, work the grow beds, work the canteen, let's work the canteen. Oh, that's the Greenway Gate. And this is the waste, so... Head back to the rim. Up we go. I kind of need to buy some food. It's pretty good food. And that is a solid roll. You take a while. Let's do some work on here. Let's just keep working this today. So what if I 
Yeah, so I don't get any more dice. That would be true. Too too good to be uh, to come true. It's a quick quick cycle. That's a bit of a better roll. Oh, you again. Big Joe, come in. Just grand finale. You up for it? I'm ready. All right, then. We're in business. It has to work, Sleeper. It has to. And if it doesn't, that's okay. I don't think so, but she isn't hiding that from anyone. Look, Bliss has had a rough time of it. I thought you of all people would understand that. Sorry, I didn't mean to be. Bliss is a good one. She gave me a chance, I owe her. I know you have your own things going on, Sleeper, we all do, but the Bay needs someone. Bliss needs someone. Hell, I need someone to help me keep Bliss from spinning out completely. Otherwise, there's not much I can do. And I would hate not to pay back my debts. I gotta get back. I'm out. See you up there. Okay, these aren't ideal... ...dice for this. Uh, right, so we've got a couple of repeatable actions. An exhausting task. Patching solar sails mean maintaining lake of laser focus. Spurs need resetting, blah blah blah. So you possibly Ah, uh, you do on on rig. And that one's gonna take a bit. That one's gonna take a bit. Okay, let's... I've got no scrap. <clears throat> Oof. Better. So that one can hit three, so... Yeah, so this is definitely better. Um, and that one can just hit energy. End this cycle. Plus three, regged and ready. go it's 50 50 I'll use you to 
Get the energy back and there. Right, this should be our last day here. There we go, all done, easy. The atmosphere in the airlock is euphoric. You and Bliss keep grinning at each other like idiots. Exhausted, blinded, sore and aching idiots. Sleeper, that was incredible. She punches you on the arm. I never thought we were going to make it. Those idiots tangled the whole thing up like we've never seen. Make a good team. Bliss smiles, a winning smile. As the lock's in the door, clunks open, Moritz gives a rare whoop. He looks exhausted too, and for good reason. Moritz has been the one ferrying tools and parts back and forth from the ship. His tired smile tells you he's glad it's done. Sleeper, Bliss. He shakes his head. Impressive. When I saw that ship come in, I thought there was no way. Why, thank you, Moritz, for believing in us. You know what I mean. Take the compliment. He shoulders some of the gear back that came back with, in with you and Bliss and heads to the racks to stow it. I think you should be the one to, to do the honours, she nods to the ragged looking combo console that Moritz assembled. I don't want to jinx it. She smiles, but you can see she's genuinely nervous. You slide over to the console and check the screen. It takes a second to see what you're doing through the flickering cracked display, but after a moment you see the accounts. And there it is, almost a thousand cryo set in the base transfer account. Well, have we been screwed again? We did it! This kicks off from the f floor and spins into the bay, shouting as she does. The noise takes Moritz by surprise, and he knocks a rack apart, scattering handfuls of metal fixings across the bay. The sight is something, is something glittering steel catching the work lights, work lights like glitter. Sorry, Bliss, grinning when she comes back. I needed that. She kicks off and joins you at the terminal. Moritz even managed to sell that produce. We made a tidy profit. Eventually, she laughs. Here. She loads a stack of blank chips onto the terminal and transfers a chunk of the cryo to them. This is your cut. Bliss hands you the chips. Thank you for believing in this place. She looks away and smiles, even when I couldn't. When you first met me, I was on the edge of giving up. All it would have taken was one more push. But now, this place is sparking again. Work is coming in, there are funds in the accounts. Even Moritz has a spring in his step. You both look over at him, happily racking up the tools. That's because of you. She punches you on the arm. He likes you. He's a good kid. He isn't bad, is he? She leans in closer. You know he came here looking to rob a place? I gave him a job instead. She laughs. Don't tell him I told you that. I just thought it might help you understand the kid. Moritz turns to look at you and both Bliss and you awkwardly wave. Maybe it's time to change the subject. What now? From here on out, it's going to be a little easier. I'm going to look for some component contracts. Stuff that would keep us inside the bay, but not out in the black. No need to risk our necks if we don't need to. If you want to cash out? That's fine. But there'll all be work for here when you need it. She smiles and then out of nowhere quickly gives you a hug. She takes back and takes a step back and glances around reflexively. Take care. You too. As she turns to leave, sleeper? Yes? Don't spend all of that at once. Oh, that was like 300. 300 there. Yep, yeah, I can cope with that. Oh, uh, one last job. The bay is taking on low scale, low scale repair contracts now. Rinse is happy to offload some of the work to you so I can get and basically get cash. Yeah, let's just do a bunch of get cash. And scrap item, re-roll that. Can I get more? Uh, let's just buy some food. Anywhere 
else I can just buy scrap? Here, the scrap freighter. You're done for a while. And that gets me back up to stable, which is good. And that's probably a good place to call it for their YouTube. So I'll be back next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.